Okay, a question came up on the Discord server about keyframes and more specifically how to delete them in Fusion. So I've set up a couple of nodes with keyframes and we'll have a look at how to get rid of them. Okay, so as I say, I've got this Fusion comp set up already. So if we just go into Fusion and the nodes in question, I will disconnect all this gobobbins because we don't need it for now. So these are the two nodes that have got keyframes on. Not the backgrounds, but the polygons. And if you look at the end of the polygon, you've got a little diamond. So it says there's some kind of animation attached to that particular node. And if you select the node, you'll see on our frame counter stroke timeline that you've got these little white dots. They're your keyframes. So basically a keyframe is telling Resolve that at frame 20, this ellipse node needs to have these characteristics. And actually the only characteristic that's important is the center because that's where the keyframe is. You can tell you've got a keyframe because your little grey diamond is now red and you can tell you've got more keyframes because you've got these arrows either side which if you click on jumps to the next or previous keyframe. So that's basically what a keyframe is. And once you set keyframes Resolve does the hard work for you in between and extrapolates where various things will be to meet those two requirements. So this value at frame 40 and this value at frame 60. That's all very well and good. How do you get rid of them? For the polygon, you'll notice the only thing that's keyframed is this line here. Polygons are a bit odd in that they make keyframes automatically. So if we bring in a background node. Now a polygon, as soon as you bring a polygon in, it's made a keyframe. Right there. I'll put this in the viewer, there's nothing to see. But it's made a keyframe nonetheless. So if we put it onto our background, because we haven't defined the polygon yet, you can't see anything, so it's masking the whole background. But it makes a keyframe. Now if you don't want the polygon to make keyframes, before you start doing anything, right click and remove polygon 2 path or polygon path. And now your polygon won't make any keyframes. And you can go do another frame and you can change it. And you can come back and it stays changed. However, if you right click and select animate or if you just click the diamond you've now set a keyframe and this polygon will animate any time you move it so if you happen to move off your keyframe and accidentally move your point you've now set up an animation path but you don't want that animation path what you want to do is get rid of this keyframe so you can either right click and remove polygon whatever number is polyline what that does is it removes all your keyframes you might actually want to animate this but you don't want this keyframe because that was a mistake so if you put your playhead over the keyframe come to your red diamond right click and remove key and now that's got rid of that keyframe for you so that's great if you've only got one keyframe. However, if you have lots of keyframes and you want to get rid of all the keyframes between frame 40 and frame 160, you can again go 
go onto your keyframe, right click and remove key and it will get rid of that keyframe. But then you've got to do it for all these as well. A quicker way of doing that is if you come up to the top of your screen you've got keyframes and this opens up your keyframe editor. Now what you've got to make sure here is that the node that's in your keyframe editor is the node you want to work on. The quickest way to do that is if you come to these three dots and make sure show only selected tool is checked then it will just show the tool that you select so at the minute the polygon is selected so that's what it's showing if you go to ellipse that's what it's showing so coming back to our polygon we wanted everything from 140 to 160 deleted so our playhead is just before the the 40 not 140 at the 40 so we know that that's 40 and we can click on this little button here that says zoom to fit and it will put all our keyframes into this little window for us and we can make that window a bit bigger if we need to and again zoom to fit so we know that this is the keyframe for 40 we know that this is the keyframe for 160 and we want to get rid of all these simply click and drag away from the line so you get a box bring it up and over the keyframes you want to delete they all turn yellow and then hit delete and they're gone and now you still have your animation but you don't have all the ins and out bits that were in between so that's another way of deleting all your keyframes that would just control and z to undo by the way or command and z The other way you can get rid of your keyframes is to use your spline editor which is a similar kind of thing. So again you've got your polygon selected, you come to your zoom to fit button and you simply look for frame 40 which is this one here and frame 160 which is this one here and you drag between the two select all your keyframes and hit delete again and again it's now got rid of all those in between keyframes and that's kind of it really that's how you get rid of your keyframes you may already know this which is great some newcomers don't and the question was asked so the tutorial was duly made The keyframes on the ellipse node are attached to this centre. Again, you've got your little arrows which suggest that there's keyframes. You can flick through your keyframes as needed. And we're not actually looking at that it's because this is the ball. So you can flick through and you can do the same thing. Decide which keyframes you don't want. Go into your keyframe editor make sure that the right node is selected in this case the ellipse click drag and delete and they're gone the only other thing of note um, if you want to get rid of all your keyframes then what you need to do is right click and remove path or whatever the keyframes are about and that will get rid of all your keyframes like so. So if we come and move your playhead you've got no keyframes. However if you try to do that from within the keyframe editor, so if you drag and select all your keyframes, they're all yellow, you hit delete and this little fella stays at the end. I'm sure there's a good reason for that, I don't know what it is. Um, but if you want to completely clear your keyframes, do it from there with remove path. And yeah, that's it. Hope that was kind of helpful for somebody. Any problems, any questions, either leave a comment or look me up on the Discord server. I hang around there quite a lot and respond quite quickly if I'm 
sort of pinged. So yeah, have fun. Cheers.